arriving at the site of Baltimore's bridge collapse, the biggest floating crane on the East Coast, able to lift a thousand tons for one of the biggest salvage missions ever. Just part of a flotilla now en route, including the crane that lifted the miracle on the Hudson Plain out of the river. In all, seven floating cranes, 10 tugboats, nine barges, eight salvage vessels, and five Coast Guard boats. 8,000 local jobs are waiting. We need to clear the channel and open the vessel traffic to the port because the health of the Maryland economy and the national economy depend on it. On the water, the Army Corps of Engineers is using underwater drones and sonar to map the precise location of the wreckage, then lay out a coordinated salvage plan for divers. How we can cut it up into the pieces we need to be able to lift. NTSB investigators still interviewing crew members and gathering evidence on the crushed cargo ship, now trapped under the weight of twisted steel, a piece of highway lying on top. So take a look at the front of the ship, at the, at the bow of the ship, and you see that piece of steel that's lying across it. That's three to 4,000 tons. That is so heavy, it's pushing the bow into the water, down into the bottom of the river, and then it's lifting the stern up out of the water. Below the water line, the river depth is roughly 50 feet. To reopen the port, the cranes will lift massive chunks of steel, concrete, and sunken cargo containers, some hazardous. All of it must be gone. The sand on the bottom, completely clean. You can't leave any concrete, any steel, because it, it's, a, it's a threat to the vessel. We're going to get it all off the bottom and reopen this channel so it provides for safe navigation. Meanwhile, in Honduras, construction worker Maynor Martin Suazo's family in a heart-wrenching wait for his body to be recovered from the water in Baltimore. His brother saying, we are still waiting with faith and hope that they will find his body so we can bring him home. And with that, Tom Costello joins us live tonight. Tom, still four victims unaccounted for, lost underneath that water. And we see there right behind you that massive 1,000 ton pound crane they're hoping will help in the recovery. Yeah, it's pre-positioned. It's ready to go. Just part of the many ships and boats and operators that are coming in. President Biden will be here next week, meeting with incident commanders, we expect. And the government has now pledged to Maryland $60 million to help in the rebuilding process. That will be a drop in the bucket of what could be a multi-billion dollar price tag. Tom? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.